Hi, a few days ago I uh, demonstrated how I do a drawing with uh, Sumi Ink and people seem to have liked it so I thought I'd do another one. This time I'm going to be drawing just with, uh, with pen and ink and I'm going to be using my uh, trusty 0.3 rapidograph and I'm going to be drawing again in my, my portrait book. This is a book that I use just for drawing portraits of men and um, I draw on watercolor paper. It's fairly heavy, but it, but um, I like the kind of tooth that it has. And I'm going to take my time. The last um, drawing I did, I felt a little self-conscious, and I kind of rushed through it a little bit, honestly. Um, but today I'm getting a little bit more used to this idea of having this sort of little camera watching over my shoulder. So I'm probably going to spend about an hour, but I know, don't tune out yet. Um, through the miracle of time lapse, we'll be condensing that down to about a minute and a half, I think. But um, I'll talk along with it and tell you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it so it isn't just a blur. And um, I hope that you gain something from it. I'm working upside down. I'm drawing from an upside down photograph and my paper is upside down as well. I explained last time why I do that. I think uh, you can go back and listen to that. I have some problem in this drawing generally with trying to capture the distances between things. I'm working from a large photograph but my drawing is about half the size of the photograph and I had some difficulty in figuring out where exactly the mouth was how the other eye sat in the, on the face where exactly the jaw was I don't think I made a lot of mistakes but it took me quite a while to really carefully slowly methodically do it I also drew different landmarks on the face and then went back so that I could figure out for instance where the edge of the forehead was where the hairline started where the ear is um, all things that would be easy, I think, to ma have made a mistake with, but I really took my time and worked my way across the face. The side of the head was pretty dark, but I didn't want to have pure blacks. I wanted to have something that felt like dimension and, and shape, so I worked on a lot of different kind of textural strategies, including uh, the cross-hatching of the, the tweed in his jacket and how exactly the face turned to dark. Drawing upside down is great for capturing the individual details, but then I turn the drawing right side up to capture the relationship between those details, to make sure that the overall balance of the face, the shading, the proportion just feels correct and not just a bunch of fragments. Well, that came out pretty well, and uh, it was fun to do. Although he did look a bit like Dick Cheney. Anyway, um, I hope that uh, that was valuable to you, and you know. I'll think about doing other versions of things like this. Um, people have asked me if I would do one with watercolors, which I might do. Um, and maybe it would even be possible to do one outside. Um, I'll see. So tell me what you think of this, whether you think it's worth continuing to do. And if there's other sorts of things you'd like me to try, you know, I'd certainly be happy to give it a whirl. Now that I've sort of got the technical kinks out of uh, how one does this. <laughs> sort of thing and um, you know it's fun to share I hope that uh, that it was useful for you in some way see you later bye